Hello everybody. It is August 4th, 2020, and I'm out at the test tank today. Uh, got my 56 uh, Evinrude Fleet Twin 7.5 in the test tank to try out a little uh, gadget here that I built uh, a couple days ago. This is an inline gauge that shows the fuel tank pressure. Uh, this is a fuel uh, or a pressure pressurized fuel system on these motors. Um, last year for that was 1959 before Johnson and Evinrude went to a uh, single line with a suction fuel pump mounted on the uh, engine block. But these pump crankcase pressure into the fuel tank, into a sealed fuel tank, and that air pressure pushes fuel back up the other hose of the two line through the fuel side and up to the carburetor. This gauge, uh, it's a low pressure gauge, 0 to 15, will show me how much pressure uh, the engine, the crankcase, has built into the uh, fuel tank. So how much pressure is inside the fuel tank and the line, of course, uh, available to push fuel back up into the motor. Sometimes the check valves uh, leak a little bit and they have a hard time building pressure. Sometimes the O-rings leak in the fittings. Sometimes the, the tops leak on the tank. Sometimes the caps leak on the tanks. Uh, sometimes the check valves get stuck on the inside. If somebody gets, uh, if it sat a long time or somebody resealed the manifold with some kind of sealer and got on there. Uh, any number of reasons that you might run into a lack of pressure. Um, this just allows you to see how much pressure it's it builds uh, while the engine runs and let you know if there is some kind of problem that you have to track down that's uh, a result of no or low fuel pressure. So anyway, uh, this is how it works. just kind of slowly builds. There's not a lot of volume each time, it's just the crankcase volume. So it takes a little while to fill up the uh, line in the tank. I have just over a half a tank in there, so approximately a gallon and a half or so of open air space to build pressure in. The emptier it is, the longer it takes for pressure to build. It's at about 2 PSI now. As you can see, that's plenty to feed the engine because it hasn't died. At low idle, it bounces quite a bit. should have the exhaust fan in my test tank running, but it makes the audio harder to hear, so I just left it off. That's why we're getting so much smoke around the motor. So this one, I had it build as much as 4 PSI running wide open. Uh, it seems to be, it holds about 3. Uh, it'll go down a little bit below three if it idles for a long time. But uh, I get about anywhere from three to four PSI max, and that's more than plenty to keep fuel supplied. And at that pressure, when you pop the cap, there's a pretty good hiss that comes out of it. 
So this one's working as it should. Yeah, pressure went back to zero when I released the tank. Um, and I tried this uh, previously on a 1959 uh, 10 horsepower Evan Root, and I got about the same pressure. Uh, it seems to be about where these things run, um, around three, sometimes as high as four. I don't know what the pressure relief valve is supposed to be set at in these tanks. Um, but I think it will probably allow pressure to go up to around 7 before it releases. Uh, sometimes in the sun it will build more pressure than what the crankcase provides. But uh, anyway, just uh, wanted to demonstrate that. And uh, it's just built with a tank fitting on one end, a motor fitting on the other end and a T with a low pressure air gauge in the, in the airline. So anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time, keep your prop out of the mud.